What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the No Cut Cards Podcast. I'm your host, Tyreek Savage. If you guys are familiar with my channel or already subbed to my channel, you're probably familiar with a video I posted about two months ago related to Wendy Williams being high on one of her shows. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave the link up the top for you guys. And I'm going to get into how that story and how that video is relevant to what we're about to discuss today. Now, if you guys have been following Wendy Williams over the last couple of days, you probably know that her and her brother have been going back and forth on social media, on her show, on Wendy Williams basically skipping her mother's funeral or not going. Now, from her side of the story, she went to the service, a service, uh, but she left earlier because it was a lot of drama. From Tommy's perspective, she never came to the funeral, uh, didn't notify the father, anything, been out of contact with the father for a while. And I'm going to post both of these videos so y'all can get a, a understanding of what both of them have to say. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with Tommy's video. So you guys go ahead and take a listen. And after we finish this video, I'm going to show you guys Wendy Williams' video. Wendy, this video's for you. Unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Daddy. Didn't watch the movie this morning. Didn't watch the show. I'm sorry, this morning. I asked you one question. Why didn't you go to the funeral? Why couldn't you call Daddy and let him know why? Why couldn't you, if it was that serious, if it was that much of a stance, then, then what was the problem? I was there when you came in on that night of the, 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 the dawning of the wake. And um, you told us, you told daddy that you had to race back to New York, handle business. You were only gonna be in town for the viewing. We didn't even know, he didn't even know. I mean, it doesn't matter if I knew or not. Your father didn't even know that you were in town for the, for the funeral and you're out eating lunch with with your ex and, and your son, which wouldn't be a problem, I guess. I, I guess if you had told your father that or, or, I mean, he was hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt, Wendy. That's why I'm here right now, because it's not fair. It's not right. It's painful. It, it's not about Kevin. Kevin came to the viewing. I thought that was great. Thanked him, thought it was wonderful fond memories. Mommy's still here all the time. I'm sure she doesn't understand, Wendy, why you didn't come to her funeral. Why'd you have to lie to Daddy and tell him that you were going to be back in New York and you were here? It's not right. And you have us holding him up. You have him asking me questions I don't know the answers to. He wants to know. He doesn't understand. There's an emptiness because of you, because of your selfishness. Mental health, I get it, grief, I get it. I'm grieving too. I love you, I do. I'm concerned, yes. Have I tried reaching out numerous times? You hang up, you don't call back. I'm not calling for me, I'm calling for daddy. Like, this isn't right. And you just leave things just going, just let it go, whatever. That's not good, that's not fair. I'm doing what I need to do with daddy, all the time. Whenever I get a moment, I'm with that guy. Love him to death. Mommy wants us to stay strong as a family. That's all mommy and daddy wanted us to do. Wasn't much to ask. What are you doing? Like, why aren't you fostering the importance of family even to your son? We went to our grandparents or our grand grandfather's funeral and great grandmother. Why, why do you have to, I mean, why, why lunch? Why my videos? And then you're gonna say you don't know anything about him. You, you, you know, come on, man. That's not good. You call me and you talk to me about the videos. Now, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you, Wendy, over the nonsense because it's just that doesn't make sense. The main thing that I'm asking you, Wendy, is please, please tell daddy why you didn't attend the funeral and pick up the phone when he calls. I love you. 
and I'll always be here for you. And as I deal with this pandemic, just like everybody else on this planet, I'll always leave a light on for you. Because it's just about a conversation and I wish one day we could sit down or you could sit down with your father and explain some things. Because I think he, he, he has the right to know. All right, guys, now that we watched Tommy's video, I want to hit on a couple of key points that he noted in his video. 52 seconds within the video, he asked Wendy one question. Why didn't you go to the funeral? You told daddy you had to ride back to New York, which he stated. Father didn't know you were in town for the funeral, but you were eating lunch and dinner with your ex. He also said that Kevin came to the viewing, uh, Wendy's ex-husband. He also noted, I'm grieving too. Tommy said, I'm grieving too. So whatever you're going through, I got that same pain. You know, it's no excuse for you to skip out on your mother's funeral regardless of what you're going through. Tommy also stated, Wendy Williams, pick up the phone when dad calls, which lets me know that, you know, she hasn't really been in contact with the father as much as she should be, especially after he's dealing with the loss of, you know, your mother, his wife, you know, whatever the situation may be. He also, Tommy also opened his door up to Wendy saying my light is still on my door is still open if you need help if you want somebody to talk to i'm here you know so uh we're gonna get back to tommy in a second without further ado let's go ahead and get into wendy williams video and see what she has to say about her side of the story but there's more to the story and you know it <laughs> and you know it really? so here it is count me down because i don't want to spend more than a minute and a half on this One minute. seriously um, Tommy, you know I was at mommy's service. And you know she looked beautiful in her casket. And you know that you fist fought a loving member of our family, half your age, who was supposed to be somebody, a blood relative, everyone, not my son. My son is in the back, shocked that he's at his grandmother's funeral, studying for midterm. And I'm going between a closed service saying hello to people. And also, my son wanted me to quiz him so that he gets an A. It's weird how kids are, but he's 20, and it was, what? It was hold something. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, your son wanted a quiz at his grandmother's funeral? He's 20. It's obvious he didn't have a personal relationship with his grandmother. He had the funeral worrying about taking a quiz in midterms. You started a fight over an open casket right there with my mother. Thank God we were at a civilized funeral home. Now that sounded like Tommy right there. Tommy fighting? Mm, that kind of sounded like Tommy. I ain't going to lie. Tommy beating bitches at the funeral. Yeah. I could believe that, Wendy. I could believe that. And the men of the funeral home blocked so mommy wouldn't fall out and there'd be a catastrophe. You should know better at 53. And for all of you all who wonder why I said on that day, I appreciated my ex-husband more than I could ever appreciate my brother. It's because my ex-husband was invited to be there. I went to my father. My mother and I had talked about this a while, like a, while, a, a, a long time ago, you know, when you're 86 years old, it doesn't just happen. You know, it's a slow process. And for me, I'm the daughter or, or family member or whoever who would talk to my mom about anything. And I would ask her, you know, how do you want to look? My mother was wearing a beautiful cheetah print dress that my father got for dirt cheap at Neiman Marcus. And it was her barometer dress. It still had the tag on it. That was a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, anyway, and she had on the right lipstick, she, a particular pink she wanted to wear. She looked gorgeous. They gave her her tan because all she did was want to bake in the sun. She was a sun girl. And you fought with our family member. And my ex-husband came back to my son and I, and he said, I know it's not my place. By the way, he smelled really good and was Dior up and down. Hold on, Wendy. You worried about what your ex smelled like he had on Dior at your mother's funeral? He smelled good? That's what you worried about? This bitch. 
that was that, no, we're not getting back together. Follow what I'm saying to you. My son and I are sitting here studying. I'm trying to ignore what's going on over there, looking to make sure that my father's okay. My sister was kind of handling everything. And I just, I, I, I was removed. And Big Kev said, um, I need to break this up. This is not right. Your mother wouldn't, this is not right. Well, y'all stepping it up and in here, huh, Wendy? Jesus. I said, Kevin, what do you think? Okay. My son, he said, see you. Mommy, everybody's here is old. So okay. nobody is getting up to fight. And so I said, all right, Kevin, mm. you do this, but please don't mm. throw fists and stuff because you will be the one blamed and me and your son will go to court and defend you all the way to the end because we see, do you understand the difference between he okay. will always be my ex-husband, but in the name of what was right, yeah. and we gave a low key, whoa, Hunter, all mm -hmm. three of our hands like this, and okay. he walked up Just to the front sure. and right separated my brother right and this young family member who was very confused being a young man, and moved it all out there to the lobby. Still heard the screaming, the funeral home turned up the music a little bit. Daddy was fine. We went on with the rest of the day. Before going back to my sister's for um, the collard greens and the good food that you do after a service, I said to my son, I said, you know, your dad is really something else. I don't wanna mislead you or guide you into thinking that we're getting, he said, mom, I know, I know. I said. You want to just the three of us go out and grab something to eat and also bring stuff over to Aunt Wanda's? Do you, do you want to just like change the mood and celebrate family and find it in our hearts to kind of not forgive, but move on in the name of the service and Papa and the rest of us? And my son said, yeah. And that's why we went out to eat afterwards, the three of us. He had the double R, you know, he, he, he's that guy. He had the double R, I sat in the back seat. The double R, Wendy? This is what you're worried about on the day of your mother's funeral? He had the double R. If you guys don't know what a WR is, that's a Rolls Royce. And this bitch worried about what he was driving. So, so I can take off my wrap dress. I had on a, a, a wrap dress. I tell you, a black wrap dress takes you everywhere. I took off my wrap dress, put on my leggings, put on a hoodie, you know, changed my clothes. We're listening to Mob Deep and all of our music, the three of us, you know. I listen to Mob Deep on the day of a funeral. Sounds like the perfect uh, type of song to be listening to. Perfect artist. Really sets the mood for a funeral, Mob Deep. Wow. And we go to a, a random place that had food that all three of us liked to eat. And then he dropped us off in the double R at my sister's house and felt as though, I'm just going to, you know, go on. You all have a nice, you know, rest of the day. And give me a call if you need something. <laughs> and that is all I'm going to say shit. about shit, that man. situation. Fifteen minutes later. But he didn't want to come. He said, Wendy, you got to walk alone on this one. He's like that little brother that I wish that my father had had or something like that. Like, I just needed to, you know. And, and I told Kev, I was like, I'm going in the bathroom. I don't have to go to the bathroom, but I have to, um, and that's all. How many minutes did I take? <laughs> Seven minutes and 15 seconds? Yep. All right, I guess there'll be no ask Wendy. Uh, Perla, make it work, please. <laughs> Please. Okay, and so now Ben Affleck and his girl. Sure did come out of that cry quick. Now look, now, now look. So right off at the beginning, Wendy Williams makes a statement, say, Tommy, you know I was at mommy's f service. She almost slipped up and said funeral, but she caught herself. Maybe because she knows she wasn't at the funeral. Maybe because she was at the service that wasn't the funeral, you know. Uh, she also said, you know, that Tommy was up there fighting with somebody. But I know from funerals, fights happen all the time at funerals. Regardless of what happens at a funeral, Wendy Williams, that's your mother. If you can give out all this negative energy, 
If you can dish all that negative energy out, when some negative energy comes around you, you're supposed to be strong enough to take that shit. Especially at your mother's funeral. I don't give a fuck what happens at my mother's funeral. I'm going to be there to the end. Another point, when he says I was removed from the funeral, uh, no, you've removed yourself. You went to lunch with your ex-husband. Look what she says about the ex-husband. He's smelling good. He had to, He had a nice car and all this. Why are you worried about all this stuff on your mother's funeral? The day of your mother's funeral, all that shit is irrelevant on what the fuck this nigga smelled like or what kind of car he was driving. All that shit is irrelevant. At the end, she's in tears, crying and stuff. You don't cry when somebody comes and blame you for some bullshit. The only time you cry like that, when you feel guilty of some shit that you've done. But back to the video I was telling y'all about earlier. So the video I posted two months ago about Wendy Williams being high on her TV show, a lot of people were saying that, oh, she this probably happened because she was dealing with the passing of her mother. I don't know about you guys, but when my mother dies, I don't think I'm going to refer to coke. I don't think I'm going to start doing coke. That's not no way of dealing with someone who just passed away. So all you people who commented that bullshit on my goddamn video said, oh, she's doing this because she's going through something. No, mothers die every day and more mothers been dying this whole year because of COVID. So if y'all want to use that as an excuse for this lady to be high doing the show, hey, that's on you. But I'm really leaning towards Tommy in this story. Why? Because he referenced his conversations with dad a lot. How dad felt a lot. And on Wendy Williams' part, she really left out. She didn't mention her father, but she left out those conversations because they were non-existent. It wasn't really too many conversations. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who do y'all believe? Do y'all believe Tommy in the situation? Do y'all believe Wendy Williams? Of course, you Wendy Williams fans are going to stick with her because of that. But everybody, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you in between, just leave your honest opinions. Who do y'all believe? I am your host, Tyreek Savage. This is the No Cut Cards Podcast. Make sure y'all leave y'all likes, comments, share the video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.